You may have seen this triangle or one of the many mashups of this particular meme. But the original is a banger. There isn't many other tracks that sound like it. Besides from the original sample from a track called Cybertron Clear. Well, that's basically the whole song. Whilst I could just have used that and it would have made this remake really easy, I thought, why not actually try to recreate those sounds as well that are from the original sample? So I have a kick, which is a bass drum from the 808 drum machine. But what I've done is I've made the envelope short. That would be very, very long. And a little bit of, tiny bit of pitch envelope just to give it some extra tick. I'm using the pogo thing, which I, I do like this a lot. It kind of shifts the wave around if I move this. Whoa, and you get very different sounds. It's really cool to use on kicks. Then I have this, this clap from the, the FL Studio stock samples. The one clap on its own was a little thin. So what I've done is I took a different clap, put chorus on that to make it kind of sound like it's multiple claps in a way. And also some reverb as well. It's like super short decay reverb, but it's the wetness is up high. So I'm just laying that underneath to give it a thicker clap sound. Then we have the bass. This I made in Serum. It's just a detuned sawtooth. I have a little extra sub frequency layered underneath and I'm low passing it. Just the lows and it has a lot of release. A little bit of the hyper effect. It's, it's a bit like chorus. Super short amount of reverb, EQing it and isotope vinyl, which is a free plugin. This kind of just makes things sound a little bit more old timey. Like it makes it sound worse, but in a sort of cool way. You can even add like, um, like weird vinyl noises. Whoa, oh my God. But I didn't want any of that. I just wanted this year thing over here. You can kind of like change the filtering of it and make it sound like it's coming from a older recording. So this is from 1930s. And I chose the 80s because the original track is from the 80s. So that just made sense. Then we have this really strange ARP for lack of a better name. And what I'm doing here is just, it's a high pitched square wave. This is very plucky. What really makes this stand out is that each note is just going up by one semitone, but then it also has a note, like three semitones higher, and then another note, three semitones higher, make like a staircase of notes. Every fourth clap, I have a new clap that just has tons and tons of reverb on it. And that one does have like a long decay. A little bit of noise. And so you can see here, the LFO is on the cutoff. So as it plays, it just moves the bandpass down the frequency spectrum. But to make it more interesting, I have another LFO envelope on the phaser. So as that note plays, it has a little bit of this watery movement to it. Oh yeah, there's another. That kind of has this unique movement. Woo woo woo. So that's cool. Then we get to the, the chorus section, which introduces a few extra things, such as this lower sub that just layers over the other bass. Then you have a third plucky bass, and in the Missy Elliott track, it's kind of high passed away, so you don't really notice it. It's not too important in the mix, but I tried to sort of recreate it a little bit. Not really well, but it wasn't too important. But then you have these. So this is just a really simple detuned sawtooth pluck. Nothing special going on here. In the in the track, it has this stutter. So I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll just put a delay on it. And it's like, yeah, that gets closer to the sound, but it wasn't quite right. So then I, um, I put this gate on the sound. Then add a bit more reverb again. This is just for space, so it wasn't so pristine and in your face. It was like a little further washed out isotope vinyl. Oh yeah, and some extra hi-hats in a very simple pattern. Snare. Very simple beat, but it works. 
yeah, that, that that's it. That's pretty much the whole beat right there. I will be putting this project file in the description. So if you want to download it, look at it, then you can do that. I do lessons. Did you know that? I teach lessons. That's a great way to support me. If you ever wanted to support me, then then that's how you can. Or on, on Patreon. And so thank you to everybody who does support me on Patreon or with lessons. That's very, very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Music make you lose control. Music make you lose control.